family. I am excited to be with you one more time. Uh, this time coming from Tempe, Arizona. Uh, actually my hometown. I got a chance to come out, uh, be with my family. And so I'm definitely excited uh, to share um, again with you. Of when people typically think of the desert, they don't think of water. Um, of course, the desert is typically a dry place, an arid place, uh, a place uh, you know where people can actually die because they don't get enough hydration. Um, and it's interesting that you know uh, the city of Tempe and I guess the local communities are actually able to create a man-made lake or river, which is which is what this is. Um, this is not natural flowing water. They had to create this. And oftentimes in our lives, when we come to you know dry places places that um, you know lack um, hydration which you know places that lack free-flowing water free-flowing ideas or free-flowing you know concepts um, free-flowing creativity um, we can come to a dry place where you know we lack production in our lives or we lack um, results or at least the results that we would desire to have um, but just know that just as a city of Tempe has created a, a man-made lake of water where people can come and enjoy themselves, enjoy recreation, um, enjoy fun times um, in a place where you typically wouldn't expect that. Even in your life, if you say, I don't typically expect to have fun in my life or I don't typically expect to be creative in my life, just know that God has given you the ability to be creative, uh, to create opportunities and environments in your life for you to excel, for you to explore new things, for you to live a life um, that is not only pleasing to Him, but fulfilling to you. Um, a life that is inspiring and encouraging. Um, a life that helps others enjoy um, you know, the fruits of, of your labors, but also the fruits of their labor. Just know that God's best is waiting for you, even in your desert place. God wants to help you create an oasis in the middle of your life, right where you are right now. Um, a place of refreshing, a place of flourishing, a place of thriving, and not only where you are thriving, but the people around you are thriving. When I think about the word oasis, um, a couple of thoughts come to my mind. And the first, I would say the O in oasis stands for opportunities. You wanna make sure that even in your desert place, you are constantly looking for opportunities um, to pursue the things that are in your heart to do, to kind of refresh your thinking around the opportunities in the path that you wanna pursue. When I think of A in Oasis, I think of aspirations. You want to make sure that you are aspiring for things that are higher or beyond where you are right now. Don't keep your aspirations where you currently are. Make sure you're, you keep your aspirations um, refreshed and that you continue to think beyond where you are right now and keep your goals um, far reaching and, and stretching. Now you may want to set some intermediate goals, but definitely you want to make sure that your aspirations continue to remain high and you want to stay encouraged and motivated during this time. The S in Oasis stands for strategic. You want to be very strategic about the people you connect with right now, about the, um, the directions that you're moving in, the opportunities that you even pursue. Don't just chase them after something because it looks good. You want to make sure that it strategically aligns with the purpose and path um, that God has for your life. The I in Oasis stands for initiative. You want to take the initiative to move right now. Don't wait for people to come motivate you. Um, if you need to be motivated by somebody else, go find them. You know, you want to step forward, potentially even taking certain risks that, again, are strategic and aligned with your purpose, but you're going to have to take the initiative. You can't just sit back and wait for things to happen. The S in Oasis stands for support. Make sure you have some people around you who are really encouraging you, who are supporting you, who are pushing you, um, not people who are raining on your parade, not people who are contributing to your current state right now. If, if they cause you to be in the desert or they help to influence you to get there, those aren't the same people you need to be around right now. You need to find some other people, again, who are gonna push you out of that place, help to motivate you, help you to think strategically, help you to look for opportunities, help you to take initiative. Some of the things that we've already talked about. You wanna make sure, again, that, that you are um, pushing forward beyond and seeing beyond where your desert is. So you need other people who can see beyond your desert, as well as potentially people who will see beyond their deserts also. So we definitely, all of us need a support network, a strong group of people, again, who are praying for us, who are praying with us, and who are encouraging us to move beyond the place where we are right now. So if you don't have any people like that in your life right now, you need to go find some people like that, some people that can help to motivate you and encourage you. Um, that even if, even if it involves recreation, that is often an opportunity for you to be able to kind of be refreshed. And just the last thing I want to say is that truly God is your oasis 
in the desert. Um, Jesus Christ talked about that he was the living water, water that you would never thirst again if you drank from his life and from his word. Um, so I want to encourage you to do that, even in your desert place, that this is the time definitely um, to drink from the word of God, to read the word, to begin to connect with God um, on an intimate, personal basis. Because even if you are in a desert place, God is with you in that place. Um, that the desert didn't change, but your current situation and thought process and perspective in the desert has changed. Um, his best intentions are for you to help you, to strengthen you, to motivate you, to continue to, to reach for things that um, appear impossible to obtain. Um, but knowing you'd be given the, the, the tools, the resources, and the equipping by God um, to be able to accomplish great and incredible things. Until next time, dream big, live big, love big.